yeah, I'm happy I don't have to bowl to Steve Smith. That's great. And um, and I saw Kane Williamson double hundred last week, so pretty glad I'm not playing over there as well. Um, yeah, I, I think when you're in the moment, of course you try and maybe lift a little bit. Um, you, you sense the big wickets when someone walks out there. Um, you know, Norm, it's the captain. Um, so of course you, you want to get into that contest. You know that's a really important part of the game. In terms of how that fits into the overall best storyline, um, I don't really think about it too much. Um, but of course, growing up as a kid, they're the kind of um, yeah, competitions and um, battles that, that you tuned into TV for. Of course, I remember, you know, um, Glenn McGrath, you know, bowling to Lara, you had to watch it. You knew something was going to happen. So um, yeah, love being in those moments. Um, see what happens this summer. Uh, we, to be honest, we haven't really spoken uh, yet. We, we only got into camp a couple of days ago, so I'm sure we'll sit down and have a couple of meetings and um, you know, like we do most training sessions, the bowlers will be talking to each other and, and coming up with some plans. But like always, I, I think it's really important that you concentrate on, well, you know, I concentrate on what I do well as a bowler and, and same for the other guys. Um, of course, you might tweak your plans slightly for a certain batter, but um, hopefully, you know, a couple of years on, we're, we're all a little bit um, better equipped um, as bowlers and, and see what happens. Uh, I saw the highlights. Um, not, not that particular ball, but um, just in general, any thoughts of, um, yeah, what he got out of the game and, and how he was going. And um, yeah, it looked like he bowled really well. And obviously, Payne's right behind the stumps there and has a good, good eye over all of it. Um, so, yeah, there's there a few things I guess we picked up and um, little areas that more reminders, you know, haven't played test cricket against them for a couple of years. Um, so good to chat to, but yeah, it was a, it was a ripping ball. If you, if you get to a go this summer, I'd be very happy if he pulls a few of them out, Ness. No, uh, we haven't this this summer um, at all. Um, as I said, we'll, we'll get together, um, you know, whether it's formally or just informally at the top of our marks. At, at bowling, we're normally always talking about mainly what we're working on and what we think is going to work for us. And then, of course, you try and tweak that to particular batters that you might face. But yeah, nothing specific where we've um, yeah, gone away and had homework um, over a certain player. That's exciting. And, you know, we're, we're a really tight bunch as well. And I and also had, you know, um, you know, Mark Manessi who's been on the last few tours as well. And, and Shawnee Abbott's coming to the side now as well. But um, yeah, those particular guys, we've been a similar age. Um, we've, we've had kind of similar careers for the last 10 years. Um, so the last few tours that we've spent together, great talking bowling um, out there on the field. I love knowing that when I finish my spell, I've got someone like a, you know, a James Pattinson or Starkey who's going to come in and, um, you know, go flat out. And you've, or you've got Joshy Hazelwood down the other end. And I just, I guess knowing that there's no weaknesses and no let up, um, it's just a great, um, yeah, great thing to be involved with. Um, it's yeah, super enjoyable, um, satisfying, and if they take wickets and I don't, I'm um, I'm just as happy for them. So it's it's great at the moment. First of all, I think just a, a fair balance between bat and ball. Um, I don't think a test match where you know a team can go and bat and get 600 runs is is good viewing for anyone. So hopefully a, a really fair contest. Obviously here in Australia, we want some kind of um, we want conditions that reflect, you know, Australia. And um, I think the best test matches here are when it's got a bit of pace and bounce in the wickets. Um, you know, Adelaide Oval here has been a really good wicket um, each time I've played. Um, so yeah, that's what I'd be asking for, you know, a bit of pace and bounce. And, uh, you know, hopefully a bit of spin for Lino too. Yeah, it's really good, thanks. Um, feel in a really good place now. You know, we're flying here into Adelaide, I feel fresh. Um, you know, those uh, week or so I had at home, um, yeah, it was great preparation for this, you know, pretty long, you know, four test match series coming up. Um, good balance between, you know, trying to have some downtime and rest and do the, you know, little things that haven't been able to do over the last few months and um, you know, see some family. But of course, still training, you know, had a couple of good hit outs, um, try to build some strength up, um, you know, prep, preparing for this pretty long stint coming up. So, um, yeah, I, you know, really lucky to have that opportunity feeling a great place of, you know, if you could um, kind of pick out
the perfect preparation. I think that was pretty close to it, given all the circumstances. No, just mutual decision. Um, you know, we've said for months and months that there's going to be have to have to be times where players may need, um, yeah, a little little bit, um, yeah, just you know, a couple of days or a couple of games off, um, especially our three format players. Um, so that was it. You know, really open conversations. Um, it was you know planned before the series. And, you know, I've got no doubt you'll see that, you know, over the next however long. Um, every season, there's always a few games that, you know, players might rest from if they've had a really high workload or there's a lot coming up. So, um, yeah, it's nothing new. It's been done plenty of times before. I think it's been quite um, friendly um, in terms of, you know, banter and, um, you know, you see plenty of smiles, but there's lots of quick bowling out there there's lots of uh you know batters taking the game on so i wouldn't say the actual uh, match play has been sorry um you know overly friendly it's been really competitive and hard um and what you want i wouldn't be surprised if you know tests are, are all that but maybe you know us us players baking in the sun for a couple more hours each day um maybe it does get a bit more fiery but um i'm not sure um you know i, I just hope how we play the game, it reflects who we are as people. And, you know, for the most part, our Aussie team, are, we're pretty relaxed guys. Um, we like a bit of a laugh. So, um, yeah, see what happens this series. That's nice of him. Um, thanks, Clarky. Um, yeah, he's he's been, um, you know, great supporter um, for me, you know, the last, well, my whole career, really. Um, so, yeah, great to hear. Obviously, really well-respected captain. Um, you know, I loved having him as um, you know captain when I played. I felt like he made me walk taller um, in my early years when I still felt like I was trying to find my feet in professional, uh, you know, playing for Australia. Um, so yeah, having a I guess an ex-captain who's been there and done that, um, you know, as a vote of confidence, that's nice. Of course, it, it means absolutely nothing because we've got some great captains at the moment. Um, but yeah, you know, very kind words.